a truly great tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center and the heart of the resistance. You're listening to the Alex Jones Show. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex on this Sunday, February the 9th, 2014. And we've been talking about the article on InfoWars where the Poughkeepsie mayor says the nationwide gun confiscation is the goal of mayors against illegal guns. Of course, that's Bloomberg's group that he created along with a Boston mayor. But he's the one who's really funding all of this. And we've just went through the clip from the city councilman here in Austin, Mike Martinez, we went over a clip from Feinstein where she said that uh, she wanted to take all the guns. If it was in her power, she would take all the guns. Of course, Mike Martinez addressed a couple of people who were counter demonstrating their demonstration there at the state capitol, said, stop the gun ban. He goes, oh, hang on to your sign. We're not going to do that just yet, but we're going to. We're going to be coming back for that. Now, we've got people on the line calling and we got someone from Sydney, Australia. I want to get his take on this uh, gun ban because it's been done in Australia. This is uh, Mel, Australia, there. Hello, David. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, good, man. Uh, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Um, yeah, the gun ban. Uh, well, you guys are so lucky that you have guns, man. They don't, uh, they don't allow guns anywhere in Australia. Right. That's right. all they have, uh, the bolt action and the uh, lever action. Oh, they let That's you have bolts and levers. Is that right? Yeah, but you have to register and have a license. And, uh, they let you have a handgun as well, but they've got a lot of regulations, and it's, yeah, it's very difficult. That's right. To, uh, yeah, to own one. 
That's right. They, they will infringe on it on the edges. They'll make it essentially impractical to own anything yeah. if they don't outright ban it. Now, you had a situation there. Even the guy, uh, Crocodile Dundee, he was killed in a shootout with the police there over guns that they had made illegal that previously were illegal, right? Um, I'm not sure about that. I didn't, I didn't get a bit of that. Well, yeah. Crocodile Dundee, he was uh, the movie star. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, pretty, nah, he's still alive. No, 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 not the movie star, but the uh, the guy they based the story on, the oh, the I'm real sure the real life yeah, crocodile I'm Dundee, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, right, no, I'm not sure about that. Um, but I wanted to have your take on the the G20 that's happening in uh, Brisbane, Australia. Have you heard anything about it? Well, I, I don't, yeah, we haven't been covering the G20. We have been covering the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That's one of the things that concerns us here very much because that's a comprehensive yeah. A comprehensive movement that's not just a trade agreement that's going to affect so many different areas of people's lives is really kind of a back way to shut down internet freedom. It's also going to allow them to uh, go against prohibitions against genetic modified organisms and uh, take that out of the control of local governments and basically allow that to happen without any interference from people. Yeah. What did you want to say about the G20? Oh, the, the police state is just taking over. Apparently, they, um, they're locking down all the citizens in uh, Brisbane, in the, in the city. <clears throat> no one's allowed to leave their home, and uh, yeah, the police have the power to do whatever they want. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much happening that's everywhere. True. Everybody's got their eyes on Sochi, and that's what everybody's thinking about right yeah. now is the Olympics, and they're not really looking at the G20 that much. Well, thanks for calling. Thanks for listening. We'll talk to you later. Uh, Andy in North Carolina. Andy, are you there? This is the right marks of Von Stiglitz. You, you use this weed. Why on earth do you want to carry a weapon? I'm sorry, what? Why do you want to carry a weapon? Only the stormtroopers of the SS carry the weapon, and only <laughs> the Uberman of the corporation carry the weapon. That's right. You do, under Mitch, you do not carry a weapon. You That's understand? Right. That's right. You That's do right. not carry the weapon. You are the under Mitch. You eat your GMO. You, you, you smoke the fluoride, you smoke the nicotine vaporizer, and you die. That's all you do. The corporation is the sovereign. You're human weed. That's right. Yes, I am the Uberman. Right, Marshall Von Stiglitz, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. The federal government has now become the federal government. Thank you. All right, uh, Andrew in Pennsylvania. Andrew, you there? Hello, Andrew. Let's go to South Carolina, WB. Hello, hey. W. South Carolina, WB, are you there? Dave, you there, buddy? Hey, did How you want to weigh in on this uh, on the uh, gun confiscation plans yes, of sir. mayors against yes. illegal guns? Yes, sir. I mean, thankfully, you know, I live in a state where we have more relaxed gun control than, than most other states. But I just want to know, Dave, when do you think they're going to give up this fight? Because it just seems that every time they try to push, you know, the, the market and the free people push back by buying more guns, buying more ammunition. It just doesn't seem to be working for them. And when are they going to realize that? Well, you know, they have been able to make some inroads in this. And that's one of the things that was pointed out in this article from Kit Daniels. You know, in some gun control states like New York, I know this isn't happening in South Carolina, but in New York, they passed the SAFE Act. And let me read you some of the things that are in the SAFE Act here. They have bans of any high-capacity magazines, regardless of where they were made or sold. They have to register ammunition sales. See, that's, that's where they're, they're spreading out. They're coming after ammunition, not just with created shortages, but now they want to track ammunition. They also want to use the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty to stop the flow of, of guns back and forth across borders, either importing them or exporting them. That's been the goal all along. That was what they were trying to do with Fast and Furious. The New York Times even admitted that Fast and Furious was an operation to discredit the First Amendment. And, and the U.N. Arms Trade Treaty is going to formalize that. It's going to make it very difficult to get arms from other countries as well as requiring registration. Because if they're going to know where guns are going to be are moving, they need to, of course, register everybody's guns. And once they register your guns, the next step is confiscation. We've seen that over and over again. Yeah, it's definitely an extremely scary thing, but I think... You know, just like the basis of the show is the info information war. If we could just keep on, you know, teaching uh, more people, you know, about gun safety and proper handling of a gun, you know, we will start to, to create more and more of a movement. Because I'll tell you what, David, when I see these Mark Dice videos on here, you know, and, and they're telling college students we're going to take away the Second Amendment and we're going to put our own, you know, their own lead in the gun owners' bodies on, on the front lawn. I mean, it's it's a little scary out there. Well, exactly. That's what I was saying earlier, is that people are afraid of guns. They don't know what they're about. Whenever we have an automobile accident, whenever somebody is killed in an automobile accident, 
you don't see people getting together and holding candlelight vigils and saying we need to get rid of all cars. We need to have a buyback of all cars. That's what they're doing in Boston. And we see that even in Houston, in Beaumont, Texas, they went after, the police went after a guy with a gun shop. He's got somebody standing in front of the gun shop dressed as a banana with an AK-47 slung over his shoulder. It's unloaded. The muzzle's pointed to the ground. It's totally legal to do that in Texas. And yet, they arrest him and charge him with disorderly conduct. They did that to the store owner in a mall. And that's why he moved out of the mall and moved to the store. So he has his grand opening ceremony and the same thing happens to him there. It really is perception. They really do assassinate the character of gun owners and make people afraid of guns themselves. That's the whole point of it. They're trying to make, they're playing on people's ignorance, trying to make people afraid of guns themselves so that they will just have support a blanket ban. And that is the agenda of Bloomberg. That's been the stated agenda of Feinstein. It is the agenda of Bloomberg. This mayor from Poughkeepsie pointed it out, told everybody what he had seen inside the group, pointed out that he and 50 others at least have left this because they've learned that that's the agenda. And it's scary, David. All I can say is just keep on spreading the uh, good word and God bless y'all. Well, thank you. Yeah, the price of liberty is eternal vigilance and that's why we can't ever get tired of this. This devastating admission from one of the mayors who was in Mayors Against Illegal Guns is very important. They're not stopping this. This is the year, of course, where Obama says he's going to have a year of action. And one of the things he's going to do with his pen, he just restated this yesterday. He still restated that he's got, a, he's got a pen and he's got a phone and he's going to use them to do whatever he can. And, of course, he's also got a bureaucracy that writes regulations as if they were legislators. And so between him and these regulatory agencies, there's quite a lot that he can do that we don't want done from our elected representatives. A lot of times they'll, they'll push this off to other people so that they, they purposely abdicate their responsibility so they don't have to take the hit when outrageous legislation is published. They can then come back in like they're white knights and say, oh, we never wanted to see that happen. That's an out-of-control regulatory agency. But we have a president who has done more executive orders than any president before him. And unfortunately, it's part of a trend. George Bush had set a record for the number of executive orders. I've seen people defend George Bush by saying he set a new record as well for executive orders. We need to stop that. We don't want to be ruled by fiat. We want to be ruled like a democratic republic. We don't want, it's a constitutional republic. It is not a dictatorship. We don't want to see somebody doing this. We've got to pull this in. We're going to be right back with more of your calls, so stay tuned. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The 
KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our...